hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is Zeno and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make some custom acrylic powders you definitely want to make sure you have the tools I have in front of me this is all you're gonna to need to make the powders you just need some jars clear is what I would prefer some clean drill beds for each color some acrylic powder I'm using the secrets clear some nail tips to swatch your nails colors you also want to have some pastels or mica powder is fine depending on however you want to do it but I'm gonna use some pastels today and then you want to have mask and gloves so the first thing we're definitely gonna do is put on our gloves for the sake of safety and just to make sure you don't get all of that dust on your hands then we're gonna go ahead and apply our mask I will make sure to leave all of the products that I have down in the description box below. I did go ahead and get my clear containers, those small ones from Dollar Tree. So if you have like a local Dollar Tree, just go to your local Dollar Tree. You can also find some on Amazon. I will be sure to link some jars down in the description box as well. So basically what I'm going to do here is take all the shine off of all of the nail tips. I do this so that I can better adhere my powder. Um, to my nail tips so um, that's just something that I do but if you don't want to do that then you don't have to so please enjoy this part of the video as I take off the shine Alright you guys, so now that we've taken the shine off of all of the nail tips, we're now going to pick our colors. You can pick any type of colors you want. This is non-toxic pastels. Make sure you get non-toxic pastels. You don't want to have any toxins in your colors. That would be really bad for your nails. Um, I did go ahead and pick up one of the jars just to be sure that I have those um, already ready to go. So the first color we're basically going to do here is a purple. I decided I wanted to use some mica powder with the purple. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a clean drill bed that is not the drill bed that I use to take the shine off of the nails. You definitely want to change those out for the sake of cleanliness and, you know, just sanitary reasons. So I'm now going to turn on my, dr my drill. Again, it's a Melody Susie drill. I'll be sure to link that down below and I do apologize if you guys can hear anything in the background. I also want to apologize now in advance for the camera. I realized that it did shake a bit so I do want to apologize for that. So basically what I'm doing here is I am drilling the colors in my jar. I did go ahead and drill it down as fine as possible to make sure I got all the chunks out. And I'm just going in with the drill bit. Well, the nail drill, I should say, sorry. Just making sure that I get all those chunks up before adding that mica powder, which is already finely milled. Um, and that has a shine to it. So the pastels, they're pretty matte, which is why I picked the, the pastels instead. Instead of just the mica powder. Because the mica powder that I have, they all have like a shimmer to it. And I didn't want that for all of my colors. So now I'm just going to take one of my cuticle pushes, um, the side of it the spatula side and I'm just going to eye how much I want I didn't really measure it out but you can do it to your liking again it's there's no right or wrong way to do this it's your color it's whatever you want it to be so now I'm just gonna mix the two together 
and then I decided I wanted to go in with a lighter like violet pinky type of color just to give it some more oomph. So I'm just going to go in with the same drill bit because it's for the same color and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into the jar and mix it together. Alright you guys, so now that I went ahead and I mixed those together, I'm going in with my Mia Secret Clear and a spoon. Don't ask me where I got the spoon from, I honestly cannot remember, but I use it when I make my custom colors. So basically what I'm doing is just eyeing however much I want so I can have a good amount of this pretty purpley pinkish color that I decided to make. Um, And once I add the clear into my jar i go back in with that same spatula cuticle pusher side and i start to mix it together so that's pretty much all i'm gonna do here is mix until i get it to my liking where the clear is now mixed in and blended in with the purple and that's all you see you don't want to see any chunks you don't want to see any kinks to it so just make sure you mix it really well so that you're not like having any clumps when you go to apply it so basically that's all i did and then i'm just gonna start you know shaking it up really well just to make sure it mixes the way that i want it to so that it's very flushed when i apply it to the nail to bleed it Alright you guys, so now that we went ahead and made that color, we're just going to put it to the side for later. I put it to the side so that I can swatch all of my custom colors at the same time. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go in and make another color. This time I'm taking off the drill bed right now. I'm swatching it out with a new one. Like I said, you want to be sanitary. You don't want to use the same one so the colors don't mix together. That's not going to look cute on your nails. So now basically what I'm doing is turning my drill bit on. I took this pretty darky looking red that I wanted to create. And now I'm just doing the same steps like I did earlier. I am putting it into my jar, finally melding it down with my nail drill as fine as possible. I'm then going to go in and just mix it with another like red it's like a mauvey red i really like the way that it looked and i thought it would look cute together because i wanted something really dark um and vampy sort of kind of so once i do that i start to mix them in that jar together making sure i get all of the clumps and the lumps out of the color so that i can apply my clear into it and know that everything is flush so that's basically what i'm doing here i'm gonna apply that clear into the jar and I'm gonna follow the same steps for the first color and just mix everything together and make sure that everything is blended so that when I'm going and apply later to these nail tips, I don't look clumpy and lumpy because that's not cute on your nails. You definitely wanna, I cannot stress this enough, but you definitely want to make sure that you get all of the clumps out of your colors because it's gonna look a mess and i'm only saying this because the amount of trial and error i've gone through to make sure my colors look good when i first started this process of learning how to make custom colors it is crazy so make sure you mix and blend and mix and blend take your time you don't have to rush you know and there goes that shaking i was talking about so i'm, I'm sorry you guys for that but you just want to make sure it's clean and now you see why we wear gloves because i got all of this stuff on my hands imagine if that was your actual hands so this is why we wear gloves so basically the next color i'm gonna go in with is blue and these are pretty much the same steps you guys 
so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and again thank you for tuning into my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos you know i would love to grow with you all and leave some comments down below of any type of video you would like to see um in the near future so again you're gonna follow the same steps you're gonna pick out your color you're gonna put it in a clear jar so you can see what you're doing you're gonna use a i would recommend using a nail drill but if you don't have one if you got like a a, a a mini blender or anything at home that you can mix it with i i would use that but if you got a drill i say that's the best way to go use your drill mix it with some clear powder um if you are more advanced you know you can use other different types of powders but for the sake of the video i used clear because this is a beginner friendly type of video and then once you add that in you just want to drill some more and then shake it all up so these are the same steps you guys so stay tuned for the rest of the video and i hope you enjoy it bye